We decided quite a number of years ago, as a matter of fact, that we wanted to continue to support the programs we were particularly fond of. There are just the two of us, and um, we will take care of the cat. <laughs> we wanted any money that we have left uh, to follow through with the things of interest to us and that have been of interest through the years. So we began looking around and found the Philadelphia Foundation. The staff has always been so responsive, uh, so interested in maintaining their contact with each one of us. They have never gotten so big that they didn't have the personal touch. When we set up the fund, uh, first of all, I didn't know that I would lose my husband. And uh, at the time we set it up, uh, I said to him, just let them decide what to do with it. You know, we set, we set up the money and they decide. And then uh, after his untimely death, um, I actually found that it's been um, very, uh, it's meant a lot to me to go in and sit down and help decide how, how to use it. They kind of were very careful to, to, uh, to find out how much I knew about the issues. Now, since, since I was a regional land use planner for 25 years and actually worked on the Fairmount Park Master Plan back in 1985, I was lucky enough to have a certain amount of knowledge about it. And as they discovered that, they have um, involved me more and more in thinking out, thinking out purposes for the fund. It's a very rewarding way of remembering my husband. Having experienced uh, um, a, a death of uh, a, young, a young child, we realize that uh, the grieving process is something that uh, is, is, a, is something awkward, is something that's necessary. And when you experience something as, uh, as tragic as we experienced, you see a different part of life and you realize there's different things that are, that are important. And uh, you know, giving back to the community and giving back to others is something that uh, is clearly important. I can truly say that the Philadelphia Nation has exceeded my expectations in um, in everything they've done for me and the fund. The Right Hair Fund is a philanthropic organization that was established with a gift from my late grandmother, Dr. Ruth Right Hair. The main criteria that drove her to go with the Philadelphia Foundation was that she was looking for a community organization, particularly that focused on the Philadelphia area. She was looking for professionalism. She was looking for an organization with a strong track record, and the Philadelphia Foundation has been around since 1918, serving this area. The Philadelphia Foundation really takes care of the work. We get to do the fun part, which is to come up with different ideas for what can be funded that's really making a difference in Philadelphia. The Philadelphia Foundation has really allowed us to ensure that her wealth and her mission has lived on beyond her life and will live beyond the lives of the advisors. It sounds crazy, but giving is not easy. The selection process, as you become known in the community and as you want to reach out and do things, um, it's not just writing a check. It really is trying to figure out um, who best should receive it. Are they doing the kinds of things you want? Following up that process. So there is a whole process to giving if you are going to make it a big part of your life as we have. It's, it's a very major part of our life and it's very important to us. And the foundation has given us that structure and that help. I think it's just a wonderful place and a wonderful idea, again, for very busy people, retired or not, um, uh, working or not, whatever their activities are, to truly unburden themselves from a lot of administrative activities, a lot of activities related to taxes, and so much easier my accountant loves me, I just handle him a piece of paper at your end and it's taken care of, but also a great way for people to achieve their goals in a very painless, organized, systematic way. And I think it adds a professionalism to your giving that even um, just makes you and everything you do look that much better. When you come together through the Philadelphia Foundation, you meet people from all walks of life doing things in their own communities for their own purposes, but you share this common thread that you're, you're a giver, you're somebody that likes to do things for your fellow man. And boy, this is the place to do it here at the Foundation. You meet a lot of very generous, charitable people.
you know, you wish you could do all these things in your lifetime, but you cannot give away everything you have until the last day and the last hour. Uh, I think the thought that this is not a dress rehearsal, that you only do this thing one time, and you have to try to do it right. And I think maybe setting up a fund like this with the Philadelphia Foundation is the right thing to do.